I'm the Imam of the Islamic Center of Baton Rouge. We are in Baton Rouge. This is the Islamic Center. We have hurricanes through this area forever. <laughs> it's, it's a historical place for hurricanes. For the first time, I felt the izzah of Islam here in the United States of America. We had about 150 to 170 brothers sleeping inside this musalla. And as you can see, the space is extremely limited. There was no more New Orleans. Everything, I mean, everybody, everybody was evacuated. I remember it just seemed like, um, it was just like a ghost town. Everything was deserted. It was like a horror movie, like uh, Dawn of the Dead or something, you know, where you just see helicopters, Humvees, and nothing else, and just dogs, some of them dead, you know, cats, you know, some of them dead, and, just, and that's it. You know, you don't see anybody, nothing. We reached out to the people and kept it going. No, most of the people we serve aren't Muslim. But now is we bring the food from over there and we're going to put it on those tables where he's wiping off at right there. The line would be going outside that fence. If you were here tomorrow, the line would be going outside that fence where that man on the telephone at. It would be coming all the way around here like this, coming around here like this. That's how far the line would be going with people. And we feel like Allah bless us to be in the forefront, and we appreciate being in the forefront, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in the Superdome, man, it was, it, was, it was a mess. Oh, man, people was dying, people was having babies. Oh, it was, it was a mess. And that particular time, my mother just broke down, you know, she just couldn't take it no more, so I told her we was going to be all right. You know, you have these other organizations that were doing a lot of support, and then all of a sudden, everybody just, you know, kind of just packed up and started moving to recovery, you know, um, recovery, you know, when it's still a disaster, you know, if you, when you, if you take a tour around, you'll see, like, the situation still is disaster two years later, you know, so. I mean, if there's still disaster, how can they move straight to recovery? Exactly.